Hi, Mr. Frank. How are you doing today? I'm great, thanks. Uh, I've got one question for you today. One question? Yep. Hit it. Um, people have been talking about this Screenagers thing. What is it about? Uh, Screenagers is a documentary that our school community council has made the decision to bring in. Um, there's going to be two showings, one on March 10th in the afternoon for uh, our students that are basically from Miss Palmenville's class um, up through our grade 8s. Um, and the, basically the, um, the premise of the video is, is just on screen time and just kind of um, how much time kids are spending on screens. And, and again, it's not just kids, you know too, I, I, you see lots of adults on the screens too. Um, but kind of around the issues that, that come with that. Yeah. And uh, so that March 10th will be a, a date that our students will see it, but also for other schools um, that are the associate schools to Sheldon. So we're all going to actually go to Sheldon Williams and use the auditorium to watch the film. The film will be followed by a panel discussion um, and a chance for students to ask questions uh, uh, of the panel and, and even of them of each other. So that's cool. And then the 13th, we're going to have a, a public screening as well in the, in the evening um, at 6.30. And again, at Sheldon Williams Collegiate. So um, at the auditorium. And I, we just really think that it's an opportunity for us to kind of highlight uh, an important issue in this day and age. I heard you say issues in there. Like, what, what do you mean by issues? I think um, you'd recognize too just that um, how much time all of us spend on on screens whether it's tablets or it's behind computers or it's staring at a phone you know that it's um, it's becoming a bit of a an issue uh, I think in lots of different cases and it's almost epidemic I think when you think about schools and how much time that uh, I mean guys like you spend on your phone uh, is it just the grade seven and eight I know it'll be students all the way kind of from grade four and five up through grade seven eight um, and great students from grade five to eight at those other four schools. All right, well, nice talking to you today. Have a good day today. All right, thanks. Hey, Argo. We have a new segment called Getting to Know the Teachers. If you want your teacher to be interviewed, get get your teacher to come down to us, Argo Junior News, and then we'll put your name in a draw, and you just might get lucky and be on Junior News. How long have you been teaching at Argyle? This is my very first year teaching at Argyle. What's your favorite grade to teach? My favorite grade would probably have to be grade five. What's your favorite subject to teach? Math. I'm definitely a math person. What's your favorite sport? Hmm, what do you think my favorite sport is? Hockey. Hockey. Hockey is my favorite sport. Would you rather watch Full House or Fuller House? Mm, Full House. I've never seen Fuller House. Would you rather fight King Kong or hang out with Mr. Panko? I would definitely rather fight King Kong than hang out with Mr. Panko. Is that it, Hannah? Thank you. Hello, Mr. Norman. How are you doing today? Good. Thanks for asking, Dorian. So I hear the girls are participating in a basketball tournament called the Basketball Beat? Yes. Yes, they are. What exactly is that? Basketball Beat is the longest running, largest elementary basketball tournament in the province. There will be 16 basketball teams there this weekend at Campbell Collegiate on March 3rd and 4th. Um, it's pretty cool. There's an opening ceremonies, then a big basketball tournament, and a closing ceremonies. Uh, it's almost like a, a mini LIT for elementary school teams. And uh, the girls play Friday night, right after opening ceremonies against Lakeview School at 7.30. Oh, yeah. Do they win any trophies or prizes? Well, the last couple of years in a row, the last two years, we've, uh, our girls' school girls have won the sportsmanship trophy. It's a giant plaque, probably uh, three feet by two feet. And uh, so that's pretty great. And if you win the entire tournament, once again, it's a huge plaque and you get to engrave your name on it. So uh, we'll see what happens this year. How are you feeling about everything? Really good. The girls have won their last two basketball games and it feels like it's starting to come together. They are working hard in practice and they're taking what they learn in practice and incorporating it into games. And uh, that's great to see. And uh, I'm excited about this weekend. That's good. That's all for today. Thank you. All right, hi everyone. Welcome again to another edition of Lamb's Learnings. This week's strategy is a really good one. When you go to the library and get yourself a book, say like this one, let's say you're reading and you come across something, maybe a word that you don't understand. What's one strategy, Mr. Norman, you can use? How about you read a little paragraph uh, in that, or even a sentence. How about a sentence, Mr. Norman? Sure. The mouse leans squinted. Ooh, stop right there. Do you know what squinted means? No. You know what? One strategy we can do, kids, we can read on and see if maybe we'll get some clues as to what squinted means. 
So you want me to read that sentence and the next one? And then one. keep going. Yep. It's okay. okay to read on. I can try. Uh, the Moslings squinted. All around them, the walls were covered with coral and brightly colored sponges. Hmm. So does that give you a bit of a hint as to what squinted is? Well, you know what? Uh, anytime I see something bright, for example, like these lights in here, yeah, or exactly. when I go outside after noon recess, I squint because everything's so bright. And I think that might be squinted. Yeah, exactly. That is right. So you read on, and because of the little clues that were given, you now know what squinted is. Oh, so again, thank you for joining us for another edition of Lamb's Learnings. And remember, when you read, you feed. <laughs>